I'm like, I was thinking about it today. I'm like, I'm the same old fucking G, dude. You're the just, same old dog. I just dude. need to come less, and I'm not as drastic, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's been no personal growth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My body just changed. That's sick. That's what they say. With time, men become women. Really? Yeah. What do you think of that? I think it's true. You become a lady. Naughty yeah, boys transform into baby ladies. With time, dude. Yeah. Eventually, we all die a baby lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, we go back. We start out as a boy and we end as a girl. Start out, start out as a sperm cell, end as a fucking baby lady. An old cranky old baby man, dude. It's like <laughs> <laughs> my dad's gone into baby man. Territory. They all, dude. Old men get old. They get He's old. So angry. It's, it's just fucking, drama. Yeah. When you become a baby man, it's full <laughs> fucking like, dude. You're, you're, who's who's got this stuff in the laundry? <laughs> who's clogging up the fucking dryer right now? It's like, well, it's not that big a deal. Just switch it. I mean, I tr- I try to just get in the head of my like eventual sixty year old brain. It's just like I go, there there are other like weird tunnels I go down mentally when I'm like super stoned in my bed and I can't fall asleep and I start thinking about like how I'm just gonna be this mindset. But at sixty, the confusion just ever ends, dude. It's like a total mirrored hallway. I'm like, oh my god, dude, what the fuck? No, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna find something you fully believe in. You'll get you, one of these theories is going to kick in hard enough that you're like, that's life. True. And then you'll just die with that. See, and this is my thing. What happens is you think that, and then you hit 60, and you're like, oh, that no. theory was wrong. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> uh, why are these fucking clothes in my way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think about oh, that. Fuck. It's when that hope dies. I'm wondering, I'm like, hmm, I wonder what people do after that. But you just die. True. But that's not me. Think, that's I not think, me. I'm not a pessimist. I think the final revelation is that there is no theory. Yeah. Eventually you get old enough to just be like, this plan I've been looking for my whole life just doesn't exist. Exactly. Time's up. Yep. Fuck. Figured it out. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> got it. Yeah, that's I think that is the move. You just reach fucking baby man nirvana, dude. Baby like, well, man nirvana is just I'm just gonna acceptance. destroy my liver at Seattle City till I die. It's fucking- <laughs> <laughs> I went down there, my uncles were like Instantly got hammered, like, the first night, got, like, real drunk. And I'm, like, talking to my one uncle, and it slowly was like, oh, what have you been up to? Blah, blah, blah. And after, like, the fucking 12th Bud Light, it was just like, I mean, you are you just, you die, and that's it. And I was like, Jesus, man, fucking relax. Yeah. Phil, my dad's full baby man when it comes to that, too. He's just like, just fucking kill me. It's like, hell yeah, dude. I love it. And you die, and that's, that's it. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's, uh, I've been... I've been going full speed the last couple of weeks. I'm fucking dying. I'm tired. You've been fucking fuck. party boy. It's, I've been partying. I've been. Well, you had a I've fucking been touching road. I've been on the road nonstop. You've been touching to fucking. I haven't been back. You've been burning rubber. I haven't been back to my apartment in like a week. Oh week fuck! And a half. That's right. You have. I forgot you live in New York, dude. Yeah, I live in New York. Wow. I've been living out of a fucking duffel bag for a week and a half. So you're, you're gonna go back to New York and be like. What's up, roomies? How you guys been? Yeah, what up? I'm a different man. Do I owe anything? Like any cable bills? I forget what <laughs> month it is. What's up? <laughs> Hell yeah. That's fucking tight, man. Um, yeah. You, are you familiar with the fire movement? What's the fire movement? It's this uh it's this thing like young couples are doing. It's a it's this revolutionary approach where like say like you and I were like a domestic partnership. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, like I was more of like a power bottom. You were more just I was a just top. We switched a, very a little. Docile we switched top. a little bit. Very you, docile. You better like, not be able to I'll do whatever top. you want. Really? Well, you're a power bottom. That's true, dude. You're like, you fucking get in there. Yeah, like, you yes. wouldn't have to sit. I'd be definitely pulling you in. Like, yes, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you got that rump, too. Yeah, you I'd wear be, those tight pants. I'd be a I'll dominatrix shred those, bottom, dude. dude. I'll shred those, dude. <laughs> I would probably just fucking edge you to death, dude. I would bring you to the edge constantly, dude, to make you hold it in for me. <laughs> But the, uh, there's so our Thank domestic. You hold it in for me. I'd, oh my, I'd be such a fucking edge daddy. <laughs> <laughs> but the fire movement is like these deme- like a couple hey, basically. Matt, do you want me to come? Tell me when to come. <laughs> not yet. Your turn's not okay, here. Okay. Uh, I'm already. Oh, dude. And if you fucking so help me God, if you even come, dude, against my command, I'd be so fucking mad. Just beat the shit out of me. <laughs> I would fucking you could beat, fucking fight. Dude. I would do ball torture, dude. I would fucking spike your balls in my high heels, dude. <laughs> I would step on your nuts with my high heels. <laughs> I'd be wearing stripper platform dude, shoes. Dude, that's sick. If we have nothing to talk about, it's just like, what if we fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but the, yeah, the fire movement, it's, it's a financial independence, something RA. 
retards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Financial independence for the retarded. It's like, so we if we're like a couple and we're like crushing it and just ma- we're each making like a hundred thousand yeah, dollars a year. Pretty much like, our Patreon. Yeah, basically, yeah. if we're making two, if we're making two hundred dollars a month, dude, like, life's easy. But yeah, if you make, they're like, if you make a hundred to one hundred fifty a year, it's for these people who get like burnt out for like working. So they just like downsize. All it is is you don't like, you just live like in modest means. So you just like get a normal place, rent like a get like a cheap car, and like don't live like an asshole. And in ten years, you have enough money to retire. Cause you're making a hundred G's a year and you're, you know, like you're, you're ba- between the two of you, you're making $200,000 a year and you only spend like 60, yeah. you're putting away like 140 a year. After 10 years, you have a million fucking bucks and you're making 60 grand a year. So it's about these guys who like do this and retire and they're like, it's like a revolutionary movement. It's like, yeah, but you need a hundred, you need yeah. 300 G's a year to pull it off. Bro. And also now you're it's called, it's just called being rich, dude. You're just rich now. dude. Yeah. yeah. And that, that was the thing. They're like. I just like ride my bicycle and like I'm watching all the movies. They like some institution oh recommended God. like 150 movies, and it's like, well, you're gonna you're, you're just gonna finish. You're just rich. That's it. They're like it's this yeah. new movement. It's like no, it's just this is just what rich. Be- this is you being rich, dude. Yeah, you made a million dollars. You're a millionaire. I was talking to the crowd last night about being retired because a lot of them were old, mm-hmm. and I was talking about how doing stand up, I just do nothing. Mm-hmm. It sucks. Fucking blows. Being retired, and I was like, you guys understand. You guys are old as fuck. You're definitely not working. It sucks, dude. Like, you just do nothing. What do they say about it? They, they like, laughed. Yeah. yeah. It, it fucking blows, dude. Like being re- That's when you die. It's yeah. so boring. You're just like, fuck it. Well, especially the guys that have like, it's a shame. Because like, say you have like a super fucking boring job, and you're just like, I'm about to be retired. One day, I'm about to retire. You forget, yeah, you're like, you go home, and you don't do fucking shit. And you're like, God, this fucking sucks worse than my job. And then what happens, dude? You're kicking the clothes hamper out of the way. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, you the hell put this here? <laughs> Goddamn clothes are these. <laughs> like, they're mine. I haven't been here. <laughs> like, I'm doing laundry. <laughs> like, oh, oh, fucking, what is, dude, go back to your apartment. Get yeah. out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's, that's like, <laughs> that is a, that's an unfortunate thing people think. They're like, I'm, I can't wait, dude. I'm going to retire. And it's like, yeah, I guess. But what the fuck are you going to do then? It's like, I'm going to travel. All right. To where? Then you're by run. the time by the time you're retired and it's like now it's time to travel, you're a fucking baby man. True. And you're just like I'm not getting on a, a fucking plane. Yeah. We're staying here. Yep. This is it. Yeah, I know. Like I'll tell my dad, I'll be like, come with me to this Notre Dame game. He's like, Shay, I, I don't think I'd rather watch it here. I'd just sit right here and watch yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. I don't think my parents have ever left the country. No, they've been to Ireland. That's it. But like my dad, dude, you got to drag even to Ireland. Yeah. He was like, why the fuck? You got to drag my dad to a fucking party. Yeah, dude, that's uh, you don't want to go. My parents don't want to leave the country, dude. You can't get them out of the country. They love America. They love America too much. America's dude. the shit. Yeah, I mean, fuck, dude. It's tough to get an old man over to Europe. Yeah, I mean, what's in it for him? Nothing, dude. Yeah. What are you gonna like? Your wife of 40 years is going to get stoked on you, dude. It's like, all right, cool. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to impress this lady that I don't even want to fuck. Yeah. Maybe they do. I've been thinking about that, too. You think geezers still want to fuck each other a lot? I've been like, well, my thing is, like, I've been trying to, this is pretty weird, but I was trying to, like, the other day, like, get myself in the headspace, like, preparing myself to actually, like, touch, like, an an elderly woman and get, like, hard for it. Because eventually I was like, am I going to have to do that? Like to just like grab nah. some fucking You can just stick with BBGs for the rest like, of your life. Yeah. Dude. Stick to the BBGs. I was trying to figure that out, dude. 